Ben Reid starting back in defence with Brown and O'Brien. And we're underway. Brisbane versus Collingwood, side bottom. Gets the first disposal. High ball and beautifully taken by Wellingham. He drives into the pocket and there is Cloak. Straight he into the front. He's fly with a straight kick. He's going to be in for a big night. And he's been pretty accurate this year with 15 goals, eight, and that's a fine start. This one, he's in that same area. You're yeah. asking for a rule change, aren't you? Well, just, it's, it? you can't defend it's it. It's time to do it. Here's Wood. It is. <laughs> and it'll do. It's a goal. Collingwood would have got two on the board. Yeah, work himself into exhaustion. And Carnesis is one of those natural moving, moving forwards. Yeah. He's not a big man, but he will actually get to the right space. Doesn't have to be a tall bloke. Wellingham dug it out nicely, but there's a lot of traffic around here. Nice work from Clark to get it through. Side bottom, we know he can sniff out a goal from most places, and that is no exception. But he's the barrier again, set up very well, Swan and a number of others. Didn't do any favours for his teammate. Wellingham oh, yeah. got up and got Sinclair away, who runs in and kicks another one. That's four. Back to Buckley and Swan, who is everywhere at the moment. Well, he's standing forward to the contest by himself. You've got to change that matchup. Oh, falls beautifully. Swan, I, I'd rather go head to head with Simon Black and see who can work it up, you know, either way. Goldsack comes in. Oh, yeah. oh, that's perfect connection. There's a lot to like about the Pies tonight. So he can't drift over the cloak all the time as he wants to do. Kiva had a run in the ruck there. That's nice work from McGrath. Opening up some space for Redden and he drills Carnesis on the spinning diving lead. Kicked 17 goals in 10 matches last year. Hasn't been able to hit the scoreboard other than behind so far in his couple of appearances for the Lions. And that's about to change as he's put it through for a goal that they really needed. Well umpired. <laughs> Stain Swan again. Oh, the old one too from Swanee there, just to get the stats up. The slow telegraph one too as well. <laughs> that was a Tony Shaw special. Oh. And there was a number 22 involved too. And here's a Shaw. He comes through, he's been kicking goals of late. Oh. And there's another one, chalk it up. Good Shaw will do that. I don't know whether that was like Uncle Tony, though. But some really nice work again. Swan's absolutely flying. He's at 12 disposals. Sidebottom's another one out of the middle of the ground. He's at 14. But to a dangerous spot. And Heath Shaw had pushed up the ground. And that's a fantastic snap. He was under pressure across his body. Really good finish. But uh, the quality of the ball that Dane Swan's getting at the moment is just cutting the, the Brisbane Lions to ribbons. Probably did well to fumble the initial bit because it just meant that he didn't press on like oh, he had planned. Rich, rich. Bang. oh, he had some short options. Decides to go it alone, and it's a mighty solo effort. It's a goal, a tonic for the Lions. Are we going to have or a is it? Did I hear correct? He said he thinks it's a goal. It's a goal. He thinks it's a goal. Yeah. So it's not conclusive. It'll go back to the umpire's call, which is a goal. Yeah. He's uh, just saying he wouldn't be able to see it, the umpire. I believe it's a goal, but we're just getting it checked. Oh, that's off the top of the padding, isn't it? It's in the post. Oh, nearly inconclusive there. To my eye. Well, they need to show another replay on that. For them to be sure, don't they? Okay, that's all that's available. Let's have a look here. Oh, oh, I, I think they're both inconclusive. Yeah, or things got to go inconclusive. Vision is inconclusive. Goal, you'd think. He sure is pretty confident. We go with the umpire's call. All clear. Pushing, well, and just couldn't quite get there. Well done to Patful, but Swan, full of confidence now, charging on forward, putting this Brisbane defence under all sorts of pressure. Sinclair finds a way to sneak in for another one. That's two. Finishing like that. Well, the reality is Collingwood really, with all the injuries, they need to find one or two, don't yeah, they? Yeah, no doubt. And it seems like they have in Sinclair, and they've, they've got this bloke. They have to find him. Just got to keep him out. To note your 
uh, discussion at quarter time. It looks like Reigns has gone with Swan, so dropped off Pendlebury. OK, now Pendlebury, we'll see what happens. Well, he's already been influential, hasn't he? And so is Cloak, who puts through his second. He should be able to drop down the, the pecking order a little bit. Buckley takes it out to the wing. Again, Wood providing an option from Portland going forward. Didax deep in the goal square. Cloak not out there at the moment. As Keefe is up and he takes it. Gee, I like the it's too many of these guys, haven't they? I mean, it's a great luxury to have for the Pies to try and have to squeeze them in. He'll need to be able to do that. And he certainly can. It's a big goal for the Pies. Oh, keep calling it, Shorey. No, nah, you're going well. Thought you might have uh, not got caught up with it. Buckley and Sinclair <laughs> around the corner. And another opportunity. Patful. Can he hit a target? Is a chipping ball for Brown? Yes. Oh. Here's the answer to that. The kick six points, Hutto, in the corner. Yep. So they've matched them. They've just got to make sure they convert those chances. Jonathan Brown kicks six goals, two coming in tonight. And there he is. Putting it through at last. It's all very sloppy at the moment. There's Zorko, Rich, Redden, and Brown. Short to Reigns, backing back. Carnesis makes his move. And the ball long in front of Oh, yeah. So, Rockcliffe, big task there with the angles. And in the end, it's going to sit there for somebody to try and grab it. And somebody oh. does, and it's Carnesis. This is the, the link up football. They haven't been anywhere near as fast or clean. It's Swan on short here. Yeah, and he dabs it to him perfectly. So Dane Swan, and sees the amount of foot he's had. 18 touches. That looks pretty sweet off the boot. A timely one for the Pies. And he's played enough footy to know that those sort of things are just too soft. And they might pay the price here. Oh, they great break. Storming through the middle. Penelbury had a little glance over the shoulder. Swan. And then a look ahead to Dane Swan. And that's going to result in another goal. And this to extend the margin to 43 points. Dane Swan, not a problem at all. Great work. Jonathan Brown. Just trying to counter punch down the middle here, but well held up again by Collingwood. Just press pause for the moment. And he finds Black. Deep is Carnesis. One-on-one uh, -on -one Reed standing in front of so that much rather go short and merit a reasonable amount of anxiety building up here so you just got to kick through it don't try to overkick it started left but it's not bad that is a pretty good kick it works its way back and it is a goal Polkinghorne decides to go and that looks wise because they've got some deep options Carnesis oh, flew beautifully didn't take the mark Black it wasn't a great strike off the boot it's still alive Brown will track it all the way and he was now going to be to take their way through these situations this man's normally brilliant at it so Jonathan Brown just one goal one for the evening seven marks in all just eases out Looks pretty smooth. That's good. And they've got consecutive goals, the Lions. And that's what they need. Go back to back uh, with Lions after. Oh, they've got a loose man now, I think, for most of this quarter. They haven't had a loose man behind. That's why they've been pretty competitive, Brisbane. And Rich charging forward with intent. Pollock doesn't get there, but Black does. And this time you think he'd go back and kick the goal. Doesn't miss fire too many. This long way off, just five minutes ago. Brisbane are coming. Side bottom, though, into the 50. Pies would love to answer swiftly. Didak kept it on the ground, gets it back. Welcome back, Alan Didak. He's back and he loves it. The tongue was out and the goal is on the board. Now he's got plenty of fans around the stadium, too. There was a couple of uh, very close to us pre game that wanted to meet him. But uh, he misfired on the first two occasions with two behinds, but uh, really nice. He's dangerous when given a little bit of space. Didn't have a lot in this situation, but once again, forwards getting to the front of the big forwards on that time, on that occasion was uh, Keith got the ball back up, good snap. I reckon he would have been a great soccer player, Alan Dyde. Yeah. He's done that in and taken. The line skipping away again. Brown up to meet it. They can run, young Pollock. Got a bit of dash about him, and he can kick a long ball, and he can oh, kick yes. a straight ball. 
Well, that's interesting to start the corner. To a one -on -one. I'll tell you what, the Pies have got that uh, cute football going again, Hutto. Yeah, into the middle. Possessing it a lot, O'Brien. Bounding, full stride. Wellingham, okay. Brown will do his best, but he can't Every stop time. that. So he'll be happy with that. So a couple of deep breaths there from Wellingham. He knows it's a big kick. Just to keep them at bay, and he's struck it nicely. Calling it back out beyond five goals. The club's advantage. Swan, McGrath was just working on the edges there of what would constitute a 50. Swan spies side bottom, gets himself into a dangerous a, spot. A pretty hard tag. He's the one getting out. So is Beams. It's good signs for Colling. He's on the runway now, and the footy is on its way for a goal. He's had a very good game, 34 good disposals, goal. and uh, he's, he's an important well, component. he hasn't got a lot of tricks. He leads straight at the ball, but he's a big body. So maybe you have too many big bodies there, you can be rebounded off quickly. So, uh, look, I, I, like I said, if it's a competition for that spot, um, I think it's only all as well for Collingwood in the club. His big wood comes in and slams it through for another one. Well, there's a man really Just pushing for it at the bottom end. There's terrific delivery. They're running over the top of them now. Keith takes the mark. There's the youngster. He uh, went to school here in uh, at Morris Brothers Ashgrove mm -hmm. in uh, in Brisbane. The other, other. Oh, here he hands up, handballs off. Long bomb from Goldsack. That looks pretty strong and pretty straight as well. Well read from Reed, just dropped off Brown and pushed over to the contest. To O'Brien and Yagmore now. The release to the top of the square, swan it up and over the top. His goal sack goes forward. He might end the day with, or the night with the three goals. Add to his, uh, his two goals from last week. And he squeezed that one through. Hey? <laughs> yeah. You've got to get over that sort of stuff, Lynchy. <laughs> Jeez, you haven't done that for a while. Haven't had a lot of success, so you're just getting a bit you know, bitter in your old days. <laughs> All right, the game about to come to its conclusion, and it does. And the Collingwood fans rise as one to salute the 58 point victory here at the Gabba 17 14 116 to 8 10 58. Plenty of enthusiasm there.